getting some input and feedback on Charleston's proposed new sports complex. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Macko. Leaders announced that multi-million dollar project last month, but they want to hear from the public as well. 13 News reporter Lane Ball attended the first public forum this evening, and he has more on what people had to say. The plan as it stands right now is to convert the former Macy's building at the Charleston Town Center and the adjacent parking garage into the proposed Capital Sports Center. We made the announcement a couple of weeks ago, the proposal of this Capital Sports Center, but this is now our opportunity to show those detailed plans as they are right now uh, to the community. But the whole point of Tuesday night's meeting wasn't to showcase these plans. Officials wanted to hear from the public. When the session started, everyone in attendance was separated into multiple groups, each talking about a different section of the proposed sports complex. This allowed the public to express their concerns about specific areas, rather than bounce from one subject to another in a larger group. Some of the suggestions were changes to the design made by those who would use the center, like swim teams in Kanawha County. Definitely a warm up and cool down pool. More seating, they said about 350, but it really should be 1,000 to 1,200. While others say they'd like the facility to offer more options for other seasonal sports. We have an indoor track and field facility in, at Marshall, and we have one in, in Morgantown, but we don't have one in the Charleston area. Representatives with the city and the county wrote down these ideas, and they will be reviewed after each session. Mayor Goodwin says once they've gathered the information they need, it's expected to take a little more than three years to build the complex. Reporting in Charleston, Lane Ball, 13 News. Well, if you couldn't attend tonight's meeting, don't worry. There will be two more in-person sessions. One will be October 8th at 11 a.m. and the other is on November 1st at 6 p.m. Now we've got all that information at WOWKTV.com.